Terry McConomy is a community educator for the Safe Routes to School program. Her office is at All Children's Hospital. Let's listen in as Eric asks her questions about street safety. How dangerous are Pinellas County roads and why are they so dangerous? Pinellas County roads are very dangerous. Pinellas County is very densely populated and congested. And congested. Pinellas County also has one of the most dangerous roads in the nation, US 19, where many pedestrians are killed each year trying to cross. Unfortunately, pedestrians and bicyclists do not know and understand that they must follow the same rules and regulations as drivers according to Florida law, therefore placing themselves in harm's way. What are some general safety rules for bikers? Some general safety rules for bikers is first, making sure that they maintain control of their bike. They want to do this by performing an ABC check on their bike. It's a quick check to make sure that there is air in the tires, that, there is, that they are making sure that their front and rear brakes are working, as well as making sure that the chain is on their bike properly. Another thing that cyclists need to be sure of is that they are visible, alert, and that they communicate their intentions. They need to communicate their intentions by using hand signals to show drivers what they are about to do. To signal a stop, you can put your left arm straight down. To signal a left turn, you can put your left arm straight out to the side and point to the left. To signal a right turn, you can use your left arm and putting it straight up, or you can choose to use your right arm by extending it and pointing to the right. Another thing that a cyclist must always remember is to never wear headphones and to always make sure that they are predictable by riding in a straight line and not weaving in, in and out of parked cars. How can drivers best share the road with walkers and bikers? Drivers can best share the road by slowing down and obeying the posted speed limit. They also can make sure that they allow three feet of space for cyclists when passing. A driver also needs to know that they should stop for pedestrians when they are crossing at a crosswalk as well as yielding to pedestrian and bicyclist when they are making a turn. Who has to wear bike helmets? Individuals under the age of 16 are required to wear a bicycle helmet. A simple fall can provide a life-threatening head injury. Brains are very fragile and do not heal the way that bones can, and a properly fitted helmet provides the added protection that a cyclist needs. Okay. What is jaywalking? Jaywalking is a slang term for crossing at a point other than a marked intersection or crossing against a traffic signal indication. What's the best way to cross a road that has no crosswalks? The best way to cross a road that has no crosswalks is to make sure you can first find a safe place to cross where you can reach the pavement across the street. You also want to make sure that you can see clearly and that there is no traffic approaching. Even if traffic seems a long way off, cars can be coming very quickly and can come upon you sooner than you expect. You also want to make sure that there is a safe gap between traffic before crossing the street. You always want to look left, right, and left. You also want to make sure that you walk across the street, never run, and that you walk in a straight line, never diagonally. How can pedestrians be safest at night? Pedestrians can be safest at night by wearing materials that are reflective. Reflective materials allow drivers to see you up to three times as far away as those who are not wearing reflective materials. Reflective materials such as a safety vest that has reflective strips sewn into the side 
or you could also choose to have a reflective bracelet, a button that blinks, or a zipper pull, which could be attached to your clothing or a backpack. Pedestrians also need to be properly dressed in poor daylight conditions by wearing something that is bright, light, or fluorescent, such as this fluorescent shirt. They also could choose to carry something that is, non, that is reflective. How does someone wear a bike safety helmet properly? It is not enough to simply buy a helmet. You want to make sure that it is properly fitted, adjusted, and worn each time that you ride. You want to place the helmet on top of your head, making sure that it fits low on the forehead. To make sure it's at the right level, you want to make sure that you put two fingers at your eyebrow to make sure that it is touching the top of the helmet. Next, you want to make sure that you take the chin straps and buckle them. You want to make sure that they are underneath your chin and that there's room enough for one to two fingers to fit through, not your entire hand. You pull the straps such as this to make sure that it's tight enough. Next, you wanna make sure that the straps meet at a V underneath your ears. Then you want to open your mouth wide and yawn, and you should feel the helmet pull tight on your head. If you wear your helmet properly, you can ensure that you are safer when riding your bike, as well as making sure that you are protecting your brain, the most important part of your body.